in today's episode of the show we're going to talk about horror dolls those creepy dolls you see that are just uh, scary uh, some of you that follow me on Instagram or Facebook know that I've got a new studio that I'm setting up well I call it studio is a fancy word it's actually the guest room that my wife allowed me to use uh, for my monster stuff so while uh, we don't have that many guests uh, the room just got full of stuff so it's been taking me forever to empty everything and set it up exactly how I want it. It's going to be a video studio to do all of our tutorials uh, with an office where I can do some of my work, some of my typing and writing. So this show is different. I'm doing it from my living room here by the fire that is not burning. Um, and we're going to talk about dolls. So there's not a tutorial, but I'm going to uh, go over a couple of things with you. So stay tuned for horror dolls. Horror dolls, horror dolls, creepy dolls, scary dolls. I never played with dolls, uh, but one time my wife went shopping and uh, she usually likes to go to the thrift stores in Goodwill and found an old doll and she brought it home and said, why don't you make this, grunge it up, make it look all creepy. And uh, I said, me and dolls? Mm, I'm not sure, but I tried it and uh, I've seen some of the amazing artists out there. and I got some inspiration and started making my own horror dolls. And uh, I posted pictures on the internet and people liked them. So I'm going to show you the kind of stuff that, that I do. So in this episode, I'm going to tell you how I get my dolls, first of all. Second, uh, I'm going to show you the dolls that I have, the ones that I have uh, finished and the ones that I'm working on and the ones that I haven't even touched. I also have a question for you. That's on the second or third part of the video. And on the last part, I'm going to show you a tip that will make any doll creepy. It's the thing that I do and it uh, it works uh, really well every time. So when my wife goes shopping she shows up with a bag full of stuff. Some stuff is for her, some for the house, some she sells for a profit uh, most times. Yeah most times. And then she gets me stuff uh, that's related to Halloween or horror whether it's a pumpkin or dolls. So she shows up with stuff like this. That's just your uh, regular dolls made out of uh, this one is uh, it appears to be some sort of resin and the price on this was a dollar ninety nine that's a good price don't pay any more than like five or six dollars for a doll that you're going to tear up uh, if that doll is in perfect condition just check its value first because you might be able to sell it for for a profit otherwise just go crazy with it so she gets me stuff like that she gets me stuff like this 99 cents which is a cool porcelain doll without a head and just in general Creepy little things like that. That one's creepy enough to not do anything to it. Just let it sit somewhere and it'll scare somebody. That's weird. Um, and uh, stuff like this. Right? I can see a bloody bunny there, maybe. Or something like this, which I think that's really cool. It's just a little bit dirty. But it already has a black dress, which means it can be like a black widow type thing. This is going to be awesome. I just got to get rid of this little violin thing and uh, we're good to go. So, these two dolls I've been working on and I'm not sure how I'm going to finish them. But they are, as you can see, pretty creepy. I started with the face on both of them. And I usually take the hair off because it just, uh, I think it's creepier like that you know these guys that with a full head of hair and usually the hairs is like all fancy uh, haircuts and hairdos which don't go with the horror doll uh, theme for some of the dolls that I made uh, you just have to be creative my wife one time showed up with just a, a head of a doll just the head nothing else uh, so I decided to turn into a clown so that's what I did with the doll and all it is is a hat made out of uh, what do you call this stuff the stuff that potato sacks are made out of uh, a little bit of makeup as you can see and the base and that's all it is I put that on a shelf it's really creepy some people are scared by dolls some people are scared by clowns and here you get both double whammy and just the head so it's dismembered too can't get any better than that. This guy's still in process, in progress, uh, but
but it's gonna be my witch doctor boy or doll. I'm going to make a top hat for it. Uh, I bought some uh, fake bones. I'm going to make a necklace for it and that's going to be a witch doctor. So this one is started and uh, let's see the next that I have is our nun doll and this is inspired by the American Horror Story the one about the, about the mental institution that was run by the nuns so there okay I don't know how to make dresses or anything so I just put a piece of burlap all over it and some creepy cloth and made that that thing and all it is it's a doll painted white with the tears coming out of its eyes this is my uh, swamp witch so you can see it's missing one eye has another blue eye I made the hat out of burlap uh, the clothes are just the clothes that it came with I just threw it in a in a cup of like strong coffee and let it get stained overnight then I washed it and I was done and that's all it is okay so the question for you guys today is uh, of these dolls that I showed you the swamp witch the nun and the witch doctor uh, which one do you want a tutorial on I'm going to make tutorials on all three of them but I want to know which one do you want me to do first so in the comments below uh, put which one you want to learn how to make and I'll try to replicate it and uh, the other thing is if you don't like any of these just what would you like to see would you like to see a vampire doll maybe a zombie doll just let me know in the comments below and then the last thing is our shop tip to make any doll look creepy so uh, let's go to the studio and uh, and I'll show you for today's tip I'm gonna show you just one thing I do to this doll and it'll become creepy well two I gotta get rid of this bow okay so I'm going to keep this doll just like it is because it's pretty creepy to begin with it has a nice black dress has a um, weird curly blonde hair has a black thing on its head it's perfectly fine to be creepy so all we're going to do is guess what take some uh, black nail polish and just paint the eyes black that will make a world of difference and uh, make sure you use uh, black nail polish because it stays nice and shiny so the eyes look wet and creepy So there you have it, black eyes, just with black nail polish. This doll will sit in a, on a shelf, somebody comes to visit, it'll scare the crap out of them. No need to do anything else. There is your tip of the day, blacked out eyes, always creepy. Well there you go, there's my uh, creepy doll, uh, horror doll tutorial slash overview. Uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments below which one you would like to see or if there's any particular request you have I like honoring requests it gives me uh, something to do with my uh, media calendar of what's the next tutorial that I should put out and if you thought this was a cool video give me a thumbs up always you know just uh, thumbs up up uh, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time see ya